in our last lesson, we talked about how to make the number 12. How do we make it? Uh, one and a, two. a one and a two. So let's look at the one and the two right here on our card. The one is a slanted stick. So we start at the red dot and we slant down to the bottom. Then we go to number two. Number two starts on a red dot just below the top of the box. We curve up curve around and slant down. Then remember we get to bounce up off the pink carpet or off the bottom of the box and then back down again and then up just a little bit. Let's look right here in this very first box, my blue box. Eyes on the ceiling, eyes over there, eyes over there, eyes on me. Ooh, that was really fast, watch. I start at the red dot, I'm gonna slant down to the bottom of the box. Then I pick up my pencil, I go to the next red dot, I curve up to the ceiling. I curve, oh I have to go so slow so I don't fall off. I slant down, I bounce off, I bounce back, and then back right off again to make number 12. What number is this? 12. 12. Class stand, clappers up, clap 12 times, begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Tap your knees 12 times. Begin. One, Good, and you stopped at 12. Let's stomp our feet 12 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Tap your head 12 times. Stop, tap your head 12 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Nice. Quietly turn your chair into the table. Boys and girls watching, I hope you had fun with that little exercise and get out your paper and your pencil. Go ahead, William. Get in your chair quickly, please. Lucia, pull your chair out. There you go. Take out your paper and slant it on your stars quickly. Sit up straight and tall. Make sure your tummies are tucked to the table, your back's on your back, your toes are underneath, and you're sitting up straight. Make sure your shoulders are up so that you can have nice writing today. Very nice writing. Daddy says, I love you. Mommy says, I love you. And the babies say, I love you. Great job. Make sure Mommy and Daddy are holding on tight. Make sure you are sitting up straight and tall. Some of you are not sitting up straight and tall. We can't do our writing if we're not sitting up. We can't be slouchy. That's not doing our best. We have to do our best. So make sure you're sitting up straight and tall and you're working hard. Go to the very first blue box. The blue box. Put your pencil on the red dot. Slant down to the bottom of the box. Pick up your pencil, go just below the ceiling. Curve up to the ceiling. Curve around. Slant down to the floor. Bounce off, bounce back down, and bounce off again. Nice work. Pencil rest on the airplane. Ooh, I wonder where he's going. Maybe we're visiting our friends that are watching. Maybe we're going to go to Spain. Maybe we're going to go to England. Maybe Africa or Canada. Ooh, maybe we're going to North Carolina or Ohio. I don't know. It would be fun to find out where we're going. Let's look right here. We're starting on the orange box. I slant down to the bottom of the box. I pick up my pencil, I go to the next red dot, I curve up to the ceiling, curve around, slant down to the bottom of the box, bounce off, bounce back down, and bounce back up again. Go to the next box, the orange box. Begin, slant down to the bottom of the box. Pick up your pencil, go just below the ceiling, curve up. Curve around and slant down to the bottom. Bounce off, bounce back, bounce off again. Oh, I like to make number two for the number 12. It reminds me of a duck or a swan. I sure do like making them. Watch me, I start at the red dot. 
I slant down to the bottom of the box. I start at the red dot. I curve up to the ceiling. I curve around and slant down to the bottom. I bounce off, I bounce back, and bounce back up again. Ooh, that one was a good one. Let's work together and make a good one on the green box. Begin, slant down to the bottom of the box. Pick up your pencil, touch just below the ceiling. Curve around, slant down, bounce off the floor, bounce back down on the floor, and bounce back up again. Pencil rest on a cloud. Oh, wouldn't that be fun if we could sit on a cloud? I don't know if we could. We might just go froom, right through it, but it would be fun. It reminds me of cotton candy or a cotton ball. It just looks so soft. It would be fun to sit on a cloud if we could. Let's look at this purple box. I slant down to the bottom of the box. I pick up my pencil. I curve up to the ceiling, curve around and slant down to the bottom of the box. I bounce up, I bounce down and back up again. Go to the purple box. Put your pencil on the red dot. Begin, slant down. Help her hands in the corner. That'll help keep your paper still. Start at the red dot. Slant down, curve, then go back to the ceiling, curve up to the ceiling, curve around down to the bottom of the box, bounce off, bounce back, and bounce back again. We are working so hard today been checking your papers. I love it. We are now on the yellow box. I'm so excited. Where do you think our airplane is going, Angelina? Where would you like it to go? Where does grandma live? Do you know? New York. <gasps> New York. Yes, that would be a fun place to visit. We could pretend to fly to New York. Let's look right here. I start at the red dot. I slant down to the bottom of the box. Then I pick up my pencil. I go back to the red dot near the ceiling. I curve up to the ceiling. I curve around down and slant down to the bottom of the box. Then I bounce off, bounce back to the bottom and back up again to make the number two. To make the full T number, which is what T number? 12. 12, good. Go to the yellow box. Slant down to the bottom of the box. Pick up your pencil. Touch the red dot just below the ceiling. Curve around. Slant down to the bottom of the box, bounce off, bounce back, and bounce off again. Nice job. Where else could we go, Lucia, in our airplane? Africa. To Africa. Do you want to go see the animals in Africa? What animal could we see if we go over to Africa? A giraffe. A giraffe. Mm -hmm. Lions. Cheetahs. Maybe we could see some cheetahs. And some tigers, that's a great idea. All right, pencils to bed. Take out your crayon box. I'd like to fly somewhere where we could see some mountains. I think there's probably some mountains that still have snow on them. Because in some places it's still cold and snowing even in the United States of America. So maybe we could visit over there. We could fly in our airplane and look at those snow-capped mountains. All right, now the clouds are already done for us, so let's count the clouds, though. We're going to count them. We're going to start all the way up here at this little cloud, and we go from left to right as we count. So you look at your paper, look with your eyes, hands in your lap. I want you to count them with your eyes, not your finger. Hands in your lap. And let's count with just our eyes. Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. Very nice job. I like that. So we've already traced the numbers. Now we've counted our clouds. Hmm. What should we do now? Color the airplane. You think we should? We should color the airplane? 
Well, I think that would be a fun idea. So what color is our airplane? Blue. Blue. Take out your blue crayon, blue crayon, check. Mm. What does daddy say? Blue. What does mommy say? Blue. What did the baby say? Blue. Great job. Color the airplane very, very carefully. Take your time and color nicely. When you've done your best work and you've traced and you've stayed right with the teacher, then you can color your paper so nicely. Oh, Lucia, tuck those toes underneath the table, please. Sit like a lady. We want to have nice coloring, just like we have nice writing. I'm going to look at your numbers. See if I can find some that I can show the boys and girls. Wow, can I see your paper, Carter, real fast? All right, he's working on coloring. He's gonna work on coloring a little bit slower. But let's look at that number 12 right there. He did a good job. Very nice. I like that. I wonder if I can find a paper, oops, sorry, Carter, that not only has a nice number 12, but is coloring neatly. That's what I want to look for. A nice, neat coloring paper, and their number 12 is nice as well. Hmm. Let me see yours, Angelina. Let's see how you did. Pretty good. She's working on it. Let's look at that paper. Very nice. I like that hard work. How many clouds did we have? Twelve. Twelve. Yes, we have twelve clouds. How do we make a number twelve again? A one and a two. A one and a two. Very nice. Let me show this paper. This paper really is nice and neat. Look at that coloring and that number twelve. She is working hard. I love it. Way to go. Okay, I'm going to give you just a second to finish up coloring your airplane. Boys and girls watching, how are you doing? Did you, are you coloring nice and neatly? How's your number 12s? Did you remember to slant all the way down to the bottom of the box? For your number one and bounce up and down and back up again for your number two? I hope so. All right, turn your paper over and crayons back in your box for just a minute. Hmm. I am going to clap my hands and you're going to write the number. You can use whatever color you want today. Just make sure your mommy, daddy, and the babies are on it. So your eyes need to be right here on me so that you can count. Use your brain and count. Are you ready? My clappers are up. Your eyes are right here on me. Boys and girls watching, are you watching my hands too? All right. When my hands go down, that's when you stop counting, and then you can write the number. Here we go. You can use whatever color you want. Don't make it too big because we're going to do a couple numbers. And then your crayon goes back in your box and I'm going to look to see. Yes, yes, yes. Table three, show your numbers to your friends watching. Hold it neatly so they can see it. Well, how many times did I clap my hands? Table three. Twelve. Twelve. So what should you have written on your paper? A one, one and a two. A one and a two. If you do not have a one and a two, fix it. This girl does. She has a one and a two. Okay, put your paper down. One and a two. This girl has a one and a two. This boy has a one and a two. Good job. All right. Crayons down. Eyes on me. We're going to do another one.
Crayons down. Eyes this way. Go. Think in your own brain. Don't tell her. She's got to know all by herself. How many times did I clap my hands? Eleven. And how do I make eleven? Oh. One and one. Good. Boys and girls watching, did you get a one and a one? Good. Here we go. Here's another one. Crayons down. Eyes this way. I'm waiting for all my eyes. I like, I see Kyla's eyes and I see Connor's eyes. There we go. Luke, don't make noises, please. Do it quietly. I see some nice, neat numbers. How many times did I clap my hands? Zero. How many? Twelve. Let's, let me ask the boys and girls watching. Boys and girls watching, how many times did I clap my hands? Ten times. And how do I make a number ten? A oh. one and a zero. A one and a zero. Good job. What comes first? The one. The one because it is the? Teen family. It's in the teen family. And number ten is who? The? Father of the team family. All right, crayons down. Let's do another one. Are you ready? Last one. Good job, Carter. He got it. Boys and girls watching, did you get it? Good. Let me see. This girl got it. That girl got it. How many times did I clap my hands, Carter? Fourteen. Fourteen. How do I make a fourteen? Oh. One and a four. A one and a four. Let's clap it together. Crayons down. Clappers up. Let's clap it together. Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. You did it. Good job. Go ahead and close up your crayon boxes. Boys and girls watching, I hope you had fun today with flying in your jet. I wonder where you would go. Would you come and visit us here? I hope so. You did a great job today. Keep working on those teen numbers.